You're watching Voices in Mystery, and I'm your host, Nancy Carlson. With me now is author Jamie Frevoletti. Welcome. Thank you. You're from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. You're an attorney. I am. So that's what you do during the day. Well, June 30th, I stopped. Oh, really? You're the book, the book career time. has taken off, so I'm no longer an attorney as of June 30th. Wow, that's a huge it's step that you took. <laughs> yeah, well, tell us about the book that's out the most recently. Right now, the newest book is Running Dark. It's uh, my character, Emma Caldridge, is an ultra runner. She does uh, marathons of 50 miles or more. Oh. And she's on an ultra marathon in South Africa. A roadside bomb explodes, and um, she needs to find out who's, who's in involved with that. She simultaneously gets a call from a company called Darkview. It's kind of a contract security company. Mm -hmm. And they want her to infiltrate a ship. It's a cruise ship that's under attack by Somali pirates. And they need a chemist to get on this ship, but nobody wants to go near it, of course. So she goes. Wow. Yeah, what, what do you, are you a runner yourself? I'm a runner, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a competitive distance runner. I don't do marathons. I don't do ultras. I have crewed at ultra marathons. And my first novel, Running from the Devil, came from kind of a failed ultra marathon in Colorado. So it's where I got the idea from. What does it mean to crew an ultra marathon? You know, they... they uh, ultra runners, this, this particular one was called the Centurion, and they had to race walk 100 miles in 24 hours, which is really difficult to do. And there was a freak snowstorm, and the crew is there to make sure people come back on the loop and they, they're not disoriented. You have to check their eyes, you have to make sure they're okay, and then you send them back out. So that's kind of what I was doing when this person fell in the snow and they, he didn't come back in, so we had to go find him. So this is a, uh, a series that you'll be writing of The Runner? Yes, Emma Caldridge is going to be a series. It is already. It's two, and two I just books. finished three. I just good. delivered three. Fine. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> when you say delivered, they don't want to read parts of it. They want the, you to write the whole, the publisher wants you to write the whole book first and then send it in. Not in my case. Once you have your first contract, yes, your first contract, you have to get a complete manuscript to them. But once you're on what's called the option book, you can write three or five chapters and you do a synopsis. They purchased numbers three and four based on that, and now I have completed the manuscript number three. Good. Yeah. What's number four going to be about? I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I have a really great idea that I kind of don't want to reveal yet, so okay. I'll let everyone know next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have you back on the show and you can tell us about that. And great. do you have uh, other series that you want to start, or are you going to stay with your Emma series? I think you'll be seeing my name on another series, and that's all I can say at the moment. This is very mysterious. Yes, very mysterious. Now, you, you practiced law. I put that in the past tense. Yes. And you know so much about the courts and about the seedier side of life. After all, a lot of people who need lawyers are in trouble. Was that the kind of law that you practiced? I did uh, trial work, yes. So I did a lot of um, fraud, securities fraud, a lot of Madoff type schemes. Um, I did food, drug, and medical device, which is really where Emma comes from. Uh, the food, drug, and medical device thing is where we would, say, get a drug approved through the FDA. And there are a lot of issues with involving that. So I know a lot about how to research chemicals. And Emma, my, my character, is a, is a chemist for that reason. It's just things I know how to research. Right. So I did a lot of that. Um, and I loved it. I, I loved being a litigator. I loved every part of it. But the book thing, I, I couldn't do both well. I had to make a choice. And the, and the books are doing very well. So I, I'm going to go with that for a while. Good. Were you able to work in Chicago settings into your books since you live there and it's Not such currently. a rich city? I know. it's Well, we have the craziest stuff going on, don't we? We just had a kind of interesting thing going on today with the um, packages mailed to the to going to be mailed to Chicago with bombs yeah, in them. Terrorism. The terrorism. Um, I have not put Chicago in yet because my books are international thrillers and I, I kind of like I did a lot of international work. I, I, I worked with international clients, so I kind of get like a broader view. And I lived in Geneva, Switzerland, getting a diploma in international studies oh. right after law school. So I kind of like that. So right now, no Chicago. Too cozy for no, you. Too <laughs> close to home, I guess. <laughs> I don't want anything bad happening in Chicago. Do you plan trips with the thought of looking for places to put your stories? All the time. Yes. Um, I, it's we, your excuse to travel? It's my excuse. Uh, Running for the Devil is written in, about Colombia. I flew to Colombia. I, I love Colombia. Really? Uh, yeah, it was really, really quite a nice trip. Um, it's very dangerous, obviously, but it's, it's really a nice place. And I, I, there's another one where I wanted to put in Naples, Italy. 
And Naples, Italy has a lot of mafia, the Italian mafia is there. So that's really kind of interesting. So yeah, I pick, and I make my husband drive the car. You know, he drives me through these small towns that I know are going to be like hotbeds, like dangerous places. And he gets upset with me, but I put the kids in the summer camp so they're safe. And then we go to some place and he drives and I take notes and pictures. <laughs> that sounds like a great my excuse, wingman. <laughs> excuse to travel. So now that June 30th happened and, and you didn't have to put your suit on anymore, it's, are you enjoying the new kind of life? It's quite different from your I, career. I, I love writing. I think I'll, I wrote when I worked. I wrote when I, you know, as a lawyer, I'm writing now. I will always write. So it's, that aspect is the same. There's a whole lot of time opening up in a day that has just been very helpful to me. That you've never had before. That I've never had before. So that's been really fun. I am going to miss some of the intellectual stimulation of being in a firm, talking to people every day, you know, solving problems. It, there, it's, there's a lot of high. There's a lot of adrenaline in a law firm, especially during a trial. What did your bosses say when you turned in your two-week notice? My boss said, my boss is my husband. <laughs> I had gone from a large, a huge, large corporation to his firm. He doesn't do litigation. I, I do. So I did all his litigation. So on the day that, you know, it's obviously a hit to the family, right? I said, you know, honey, I'm going to write books at night. And he's like, okay, I'm going to go part time to write books. You know, okay, okay. Now I'm like, well, honey, I'm, I'm done working as a lawyer. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he's very happy with it, although there's no one who's replaced me in the firm. So I don't know how much more litigation they're going to do. He does mergers and acquisitions, so he'll be fine. But you get to be home. I get to be home and, and write, travel. And write and travel. And he gets to be my wingman, so he gets some fun out of it. As, as part of you, Emma, or is Emma part of you? you know, she's logical. I wanted her to be actually somebody who actually was thoughtful. I'm a lot more emotional. I find my, you know, I, I fly off the handle. I'm Italian and Irish, and I, I find myself flying off the handle. <laughs> She doesn't. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for being on our show thank today. You. We are with Jamie Frevoletti, and she brought two of her books, Running from the Devil and Running Dark. They both have the word running in because the protagonist is a long-distance runner. So thank you so much. Come back okay. often. Next time you come, I want to hear about your new book. Okay. Thank but you. Right now you have a secret. It's so a secret. Thanks for being on Voices <laughs> in Mystery. <laughs>